Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. In this one, we should be taking on the boss that I believe is called the Dragon Consulter. We'll find out when we get getting up there. Basically, we're going up to the highest level of this area uh, through the teleporter and then take it on. Should, shouldn't be too bad, it can be quite strong, uh, but most of its moves are fairly avoidable, especially if you stay mounted. Um, and Lutal is probably tough enough to last the fight out, so and we will have help in that form as well. So we just want to come up this way towards where the pillar is. Broken pillar specifically. There it is, look. Oh my god, I'm gonna aggro everything right now. Uh, being as we're here, we might as well grab the loot this time. Let's get over this quickly. Uh, remember, remember before, if we just kind of crouch down here, everything should start to, uh, to de aggro from us. Obviously, all of the runes that I have right now are literally from the last boss fight. Hopefully, I didn't lose them all, otherwise, I'll have been away. Are you actually coming up this time? So that's not like you. Turn around. And then we're going to go through here. I don't know if this as a hidden boss. I guess it's not obvious that you should go through this specific teleporter to come here. So I feel like I feel like hidden is a good word for this, actually. Um, obviously, secret would be a bit too too extreme, I think. We're just going to loot everything before we get into the fight. Uh, we've already looted most of it though, so we should be fine. Should be a cookbook on that. Uh, we should have... I think it's Marik's Eye. Or Marik's Seal, or... Something else down there. Did I leave some loot here? Okay. No, I think I picked everything up. Let's just make sure. I could check my inventory, maybe it is usually down here. But uh, once you are happy that you've collected everything that you want, which I believe we have, uh, there was a spell in there, which we've already got. There was go no, no, ghost, there's an item all the way down at the end of there along a ledge, which we've already got. Did we already get that? Let's check we've got that. I am sorry, this is probably really, like, not very confirming. But it's a good idea for us to just double check that I would get everything from up here. I don't think it was like mega loot. Yeah, we've got it already. We're good. <clears throat> and we definitely got the glove because that's how we got uh, loot of this fight. Right this way. Hopefully none of these followers us into the fight. I didn't come down here previously. <laughs> I actually came in to fight the big guy. But I assume they de-aggro by now. There he is, a big boyo in the middle of the lake. And then Ghost Glove War 5 is down there for those that want to know. Uh, if you haven't already upgraded your summon, self special summon, take it to plus 5, it's going to be good. You can summon this boyo. On that. We're going to aim to try and stay mounted for this because um, that just seems to be the, uh, the better way to fight. Although there is one that you uh, are forced to fight on foot, and that one goes pretty well too. And I guess I haven't tested Moonveil against it. Like, for all I know, Moonveil could be a pretty good, uh, pretty good fix for this guy up close. We're doing pretty good for damage already. Lutal just attracts his attention. We'll probably have a stagger. <clears throat> come on, Lutal. Give, give him a couple of tickles, please. Come on, come on. So his most dangerous move while you're mounted is like a big um, thrusting type um, attack. It has like mega range on it. That's the one. It does end up like doing like a standing version that like um we should be just stagger by now. On. <clears throat> I guess maybe I'll just find damage. See, you really don't want to be kind of stood in front of him. <laughs> Even on the horse, because he is pretty quick. Quite a lithe fellow. And I was right the name, Dragon Soldier. Haha. <laughs> Come on. Do some damage, sir. Come on. Luke's just tanking him in the front there. Such a good summon, aren't you, buddy? 
Thank you for that. Great enemy failed. And that gives us this guy. Did we already get the America City one? Maybe we did. We didn't. Then have a look. We're supposed to have some loot around here. Haha, <laughs> it's in the boss room, in the under the waterfall. This is the problem sometimes, you and you've already been somewhere. Ah, like, oh, it's for this place, we've got everything. No, it's there. There we go, America's here. Uh, it's kind of a risk to reward item for mages. So this is going to give you, um, as you can see, massively negated uh, resistances, but will give you um, lots of mind, intelligence, faith, and arcane. Um, it's kind of a strange set, because unlike the combat variant, like, Dex weapons will still get a benefit from strength, and strength weapons will still get some benefit from dex. You don't get that at all from the cast event. So uh, I feel like this bonus should be way bigger if, uh, if this was going to be like a reasonable thing for us to use, but it's not. So that is the way that works. That should be the end of the episode then, guys. In the next one... In the next one, we should probably... We've got two things we could do. We could, and I'm still thinking it over. We could go and clear Celia Crystal Tongue, which will give us plus six on the weapon. Or we could do Real Acaria. We've got a trick over here, so we're going to get to plus seven here anyway. Maybe we'll go Maybe we'll go all the way to plus nine. Plus nine, because we can get uh, at the Dragon Bar a fork here. We can get the eight and nine um, Sombering Stones. And if you get captured by a thing here, it takes you to the to the manor, and we can get a Sombra Stone 7 and 6. So we can get 6, 7, 8, 9. For real Akari, if we do that. <clears throat> um, well, maybe not necessarily before. Before we actually get into it properly. So yes, maybe we'll do that. In the next episode, then, we will do the entrance to the real Akari. And we'll see how far that takes us. Either way, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.